When we tested the Snapdragon and Exynos variants of the Galaxy S20 earlier this year, the Snapdragon version had the clear advantage, and with the new Note 20 series, that advantage may be even bigger. While the global version of the Note 20 is using the same Exynos 990 chip that we saw on the S20, the version of the Note that ships to countries like the US and Canada got even better, with the upgraded Snapdragon 865 Plus. Of course, there's more to performance than just the processor under the hood, and Samsung has had plenty of time to optimize their software for that Exynos chip, so it's going to be interesting to see how the two variants actually stack up. All right, we'll kick things off by starting the stopwatches on each phone and then jumping into the first row, where the two phones perform nearly identically in Facebook. And here in Starbucks, it's the same exact thing. So we'll see if either one of these phones can create some sort of separation while loading this 500 page document, where from the looks of it, they perform that task at about the same rate. And here in Excel, it almost looks like we're testing the same exact phone, which is precisely what you would want to see. But we may start to see the difference in the chipsets here in the more processor intensive second row, starting in Snapseed where we're adding two different filters to the same photo and then exporting that image out to storage, where from the looks of it, the Snapdragon variant was able to perform the task at a faster rate, allowing it to take the lead as we move on to Adobe Rush, which is easily the most processor intensive task in this entire speed test. And as a result, we're seeing a huge difference between the two variants, with the Snapdragon variant of the Note 20 plowing through the task while the Exynos variant is struggling, allowing the Snapdragon variant of the Note 20 to improve on its lead with it blazing through the browser test and moving on to the gaming row, while the Exynos variant is just finally wrapping up with the video render task. So the Exynos has dug itself in a bit of a hole here, and with it also loading Google Trends in the browser at a slower rate, things could get ugly here in the gaming row. The Snapdragon variant of the Note is now a full app ahead of the Exynos variant, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. That said though, so the Exynos variant didn't fall behind in Subway Surfers, and here in Flip Diving, it looks like it was only slower by a small step, which considering how big that difference was in the second row, is actually a bit of good news for the Exynos. But the bad news for it is the Snapdragon variant has already moved on to the last row of lightweight apps, so the chances of the Exynos making a comeback here are pretty slim, with the Exynos doing itself no favors loading the majority of the games at a slightly slower rate, which allows the Snapdragon variant to capture its biggest lead of the test just as it finishes the first lap with a time of 1 minute and 59 seconds. We'll see if the Exynos variant can at least match the performance of the Snapdragon in the bottom row here, where so far it's been able to do just that, loading all four of the lightweight apps at nearly identical speeds, leading it to finish the first lap 14 seconds later with a time of 2 minutes and 13. So while the Exynos definitely underperformed in that first lap, the bulk of the difference came from Snapseed, the browser test, and most significantly Adobe Rush, which while not what you would want if you could actually choose between these two phones, it's not all bad news. It seems like Samsung did a good job at optimizing both of them for the majority of the apps that we tested, with the main difference coming down only to the more processor intensive ones, which allowed the Snapdragon variant to complete the entire test first with a total time of 2 minutes and 46 seconds, with the Exynos variant of course matching the performance of the Snapdragon in the second lap, coming in 14 seconds later with a time of 3 minutes flat, making the winner and the faster version of the Galaxy Note 20, the Snapdragon 865 Plus version. Anyways, that is it for me in this video, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.